So after we determine the compensator zero and pole for the lead compensator, we first sketch the focus of the compensated system as shown in this figure. Okay, so next search along the uh, radial line of damping ratio 0.174. The second order dominant poles are 0.978 plus J3.836 with again 158.1. So again, uh, to determine these compensated dominant poles, we have to determine these closed loop transfer function for the compensated system which consists of the compensator this is zc that we determined before minus 0.111 and also the pc that we choose uh, or given in the question which is minus 0.01 so this is the original plan with the pole negative 1 negative 2 and negative 10 1 negative 1 negative 2 and negative 10 so <clears throat> we determine uh, this uncompensated, uh, this compensated dominant pole based on the closed loop transfer function for the compensated system. After we determine the closed loop transfer function for the compensated system, we use the denominator of the system to determine the poles which we have this uncompensated, this complex conjugate poles which we choose the top left for uh, dominant poles, and we also have this. Um, <coughs> the closed loop pole minus 11.55 and we also have a compensator pole at negative 0 0.01 and also uh, zxc at negative 0.111 and based on the closed loop pole for the compensated system beside we have complex conjugate which are the dominant poles we also have the third pole negative 11.55. We also have the fourth closed loop pole at negative 0 0.101. This figure shows the effect of the lag compensator in time domain, even though that the transient response for the uh, uncompensated the black one and also for the lead compensated the green one systems are the same the lead compensated system exhibits less steady state error okay which is almost reach the uh, this one unity uh, unit step which the amplitude is equal to one uh, by approaching unity more closely than the uncompensated system, which is around 0 0.9 something. So all transient and steady state results for both uncompensated and compensated system are shown in this table. So this is uncompensated transfer function where this is the lead compensated transfer function which we include the ZC and PC. So the gain uh, is different between these two uncompensated and compensated system. In this case, KP is equal to 8.23 while this one for compensated. This one is based on the design requirement where the steady state error is reduced by 10 and we also can see the difference in the compensated uh, dominant poles and the uh, different in the third pole where the compensated has the fourth pole and this case for the uncompensated it consists of non zero while the compensated has the compensated zero at point one one one